Merci beaucoup, Excellence, chers délégués, Mesdames et Messieurs, chers amis. C'est un grand plaisir de vous saluer à Genève pour cette conférence sur l'agenda de développement post-2015. Nos consultations portent particulièrement sur la gestion des ressources en eau, la gestion des eaux usées et la qualité de l'eau. Water stands at the center of nearly every global challenge. Climate ch change, health, nutrition, environment, transportation, political conflicts, all this and much more is directly linked to water. The water sector faces changes that are taking place around the world at a faster rate than ever before. Population, growth, migration, urbanization, climate and land use change, and economic alterations have a direct impact on water resources, water services, as well as ecosystem services. Even if fresh water is a renewable resource, its worldwide available total amount remains constant. In the same time, the demand for fresh water is dramatically increasing. While the world's population has tripled during the last century, the water demand has increased sixfold. Furthermore, according to forecasts, the population will top 8.3 billion people by 2030. The global demand for fresh water will be 40% higher than the available amount, and climate change will even augment the gap. Estimates indicate that by 2030, half of the world's population will be living in areas of high water stress, including between 75 and 250 million people in Africa. In addition, water scarcity in some arid and semi-arid areas is expected to displace up to several hundred million people and thus add to instabilities inside and between countries by obstructing economic development and exacerbating larger conflicts. Feeding a world of eight billion people will require a much more efficient use of water. This is particularly true for agriculture, where today, due to inefficiencies of the irrigation systems, worldwide, 40% of used fresh water is lost. But also demands on water for energy, cooling, extraction and production will more than double by 2030. The global water crisis is one of the most pressing political, environmental and social issue of the 21st century. This crisis includes quantitative dimensions as per decreasing water availability and qualitative expressions as globally 80% of wastewater is dispatched directly into the environment without treatment. Thus, sanitation needs to be understood as a fundamental part of water management. Transboundary basin management, wastewater treatment, and financing strategies for water and sanitation are becoming key as demands for water resources increase and climate change realities and scenarios dramatically amplify already existing water challenges. Whereas access to water can indeed be a source of conflict, collective efforts of neighboring countries towards joint basin management can equally foster trust between stakeholders, which can go beyond water issues and thus be a sound basis of good relationship preventing potential conflicts. Keeping this in perspective, sustainable access to freshwater resources may not only 
be felt as a key challenge, but also, but also as a great opportunity for humanity in this 21st century. Fighting the water crisis is a prerequisite for public health, economic growth, environmental services, social development, human rights, as well as national and regional security. The water crisis requires demobilization of all stakeholders, governments, international organizations, the private sector, research institutions, civil society organizations. And last but not least, the voice of the poor has to be strongly represented in the process. When speaking about water resources and poverty, a strong coincidence and evidence can be noted between people living on less than a dollar a day and those without access to safe drinking water. Among the many international agreements, declarations and treaties, the Millennium Development Goals have grabbed the world's attention. After 10 years, more than 10 years, they still are and must continue to be the reference framework for human development. Access to water supply and sanitation is part of the Millennium Development Goals. However, despite its pivotal role in achieving all of the MDGs, this sector remains a far too low priority on national and international agendas. It is due to this fact that Switzerland decided to engage in partnership with Jordan, Liberia and the Netherlands as a co-host for the UN-led thematic consultation on water. Together with UN Water, UNECE and UNICEF, we aim at fostering a thematic discussion of global nature with countries of different backgrounds and different challenges. We strive to assure strong advocacy, political support and collective ownership from both the North and the South to promote water as a core issue within the new post-2015 development agenda. The present meeting organized by UNECE and hosted by Switzerland is an important building block in this effort to achieve a consensus and to provide the evidence and key elements to be considered from a water perspective for a future sustainable development in the years to come after 2015. Switzerland enjoys a well-recognized record of international solidarity on one hand and responsible water management uh, practice on uh, the other. As water tower of Europe with abundant water resources, uh, we would perhaps like to believe that Switzerland is immune from global freshwater challenges. This is, uh, of course, not the case as uh, Switzerland is a country that imports a lot, of, uh, a lot of goods that is based on water consumption uh, elsewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the enormous challenging and challenges and alarming situation, we strongly believe that we are able to avoid a major global water crisis. This requires, however, the mobilization of all pillars of society and broad-based cooperation between all countries and uh, stakeholders. The UN declared 2013 as the International Year of Water Cooperation. Inspired by this, the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation has created a symbol for the Swiss-related campaign, and you should see it over there, and it is even lightening now as a small kind of, uh, of, of, uh, of show. This blue end symbolizes cooperation in uh, the water uh, sector, and by this we mobilized, uh, we mobilized in our own country. Ladies and gentlemen, with those thoughts and spirit in mind, and being a co-host of the UN-led thematic consultation on water, I wish you a successful meeting 
with concrete <coughs> results towards a future sustainable development goal framework that adequately reflects the central role of water. By creating a meaningful, convincing, inspiring, collectively accepted and supported post-2015 agenda, we lay the ground for a world of well-being, opportunities, prosperity and justice for coming generations all around the globe. I thank you for your attention.